not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamat astrology in today's video we are going to speak about something called as pitru paksha which is a special period of 15 days wherein we venerate our ancestors and we do certain good deed so that our dead ancestors can move to the higher realms and eventually get liberated from the cycle of life and death now in the year 2022 the pitru paksha starts on 10th september 2022 and since it lasts for 15 days it will go on till 25th september 2022 So 25th September 2022 will be the last day of Pitru Paksha, and that day is also known as Mahalaya Amavasya. Now, in this video, let us try to understand the significance of this period. So, before we proceed further, we need to understand the meaning of the word Pitrus or Pitras. So, Pitrus are nothing but our dead ancestors. and pitru dosh comes in your horoscope because of certain bad deeds committed by your ancestors now the obvious question in your mind will be if my ancestors have done something wrong why should i have to pay for that now every one of us has a physical body and from whom do we get this physical body why does a child look like his grandfather like his grandmother or sometimes even like his parents because he inherits the genes from his ancestors he inherits the genetic code from his ancestors because of which he has this physical body and therefore he owes a debt to his ancestors and he is responsible to see that after death his ancestors move to a higher realm and are liberated because of certain good deeds which he will do for them now when a person is alive there are a lot of karmas which that person does some are good karmas and some are bad karmas and remember every karma however small it is will have an impact and you will have to pay for that karma either in this realm or in the subsequent realms post your death or sometimes even in subsequent births so no karma goes unaccounted for so when any of our ancestors die in such a way that they have extreme attachment towards the family or they die an unnatural death or an untimely death then these souls do not move to the higher realm they are stuck in between the earth and the higher realm and they constantly seek liberation when the deeds of your ancestors are also very bad or they have done something very wrong in their life then again their ascension to the higher realms does not happen easily and they get stuck in the lower realms so these type of ancestors also seek liberation if any of your ancestors have killed a dog or have aborted a fetus that also results in pitru dosha in your horoscope now to see pitru dosha in the horoscope you need to understand two things first look at the sun if the sun is in conjunction with rahu or ketu especially in the 9th house of the horoscope then it causes a pitru dosh because sun is the universal father similarly if jupiter is afflicted by rahu or ketu especially in the 9th house it still causes a pitru dosh similarly when the moon is afflicted by rahu shani or ketu it causes a matru dosh that is a dosha on the mother side of the family so such combinations clearly tell you that your ancestors are not yet liberated they are stuck somewhere in between 
द अर्थ अँड द हायर रेल्प्स अँड नाव दे आर सिकिंग लिबरेशन फ्रॉम यू दे वॉन्ट यू टू डू सर्टन कर्मास विच विल लिबरेट दॅम नाव वॉट हॅपन्स इफ देर इज स्ट्रॉंग पितृदोष इन द हॉरोस्कोप द फॅमिली ऑर द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन द नेक्स्ट सेवन जनरेशन इन फॅक्ट फेस अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम्स सो समटाइम्स अ मेंटली इल चाइल्ड ऑर अ चाइल्ड विथ डिफॉर्मिटीज इज बॉर्न इन द फॅमिली मॅरेज डज नॉट हॅपन इझिली चाइल्ड बर्थ ऑल्सो इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस अँड ड्युरिंग चाइल्ड बर्थ देर कॅन बी रिपीटेड अबॉर्शन्स इन द फॅमिली between the members of the family there are constant fights members of the family constantly fall ill there is a lot of debt lot of loans which the family has to repay and this generally affects the next seven generations so your ancestors are trying to remind you that please do something for us so that we can get liberated and this is what is known as pitru dosha now what is the connection with pitru paksha so pitru paksha is a special 15 day period when the god of death that is yama allows our ancestors to visit this earth and experience the good karmas done by us so that they can move to the higher realms so this is a period when you should do good deeds in the name of your ancestors remember your ancestors so that they attain liberation and they are not stuck in the lower realms so in this 15 day period you should remember your ancestors and you should do good deeds for them certain rituals such as shraddh tarpan pindadan are done as part of the pitru paksha to appease the ancestors and to liberate them so in this figure you can see balls of rice are prepared and this is an important process in a ritual called pindadan so when our ancestors have moved into a different realm they experience feelings such as hunger and thirst and it is said that if you feed them during this time period then they will bless you and they will slowly get liberated and move to the higher realms so during pitru paksha water as well as food in the form of rice balls is offered to the ancestors but how do you know that your ancestors have actually received that food and water you cannot see your ancestors so in the next session or in the next part we will cover how this food and water is offered to the ancestors now in the vedic culture the crow is said to represent our ancestors and therefore during pitru paksha it is a ritual to feed the crows with good vegetarian food especially the food which your ancestors used to like very much so generally rice balls til laddus bhajiyas rice with dal all that is offered to the crow along with some water and when the crow eats that food and drinks that water it is said to quench the thirst and hunger of your ancestors also so crow represents our ancestors so different rituals such as shraddh pind dan tarpan are done during the pitru paksha through a proper priest but you can do a simple ritual such as feeding a crow on this day with rice balls with bhajiyas with rice with dal and some water that will appease your ancestors and give you a lot of relief from the effects of pitru dosh if it is present in your horoscope another ritual which can be done during this time is feeding poor brahmins now brahmins are representation of gurus of teachers and therefore feeding such brahmins will also appease your ancestors and make them happy 
इफ यू फीड फूड टू अ काउ फूड सच एज ग्रास जैगरी टू अ काउ ऑन दिस डे दैट विल ऑल्सो गिव यू ग्रेट मेरिट एंड दैट फूड विल रीच योर एनसेस्टर्स डोनेशन्स डन टू द पुअर मॉनिटरी डोनेशन्स एज वेल एज फूड डोनेशन्स हेल्पिंग द हैंडीकैप पीपल ऑर्फन्स एंड पीपल विथ डिसीजेस सच एज लेप्रसी एंड कैंसर ऑन दिस डे विल ऑल्सो गिव अ लॉट ऑफ मेरिट टू यू एंड ऑल्सो लिबरेशन टू योर एनसेस्टर्स सो ऑन दिस डे ट्राई टू डू मैक्सिमम गुड डीड्स सो दैट योर एनसेस्टर्स गेट हैप्पी एंड दे ब्लेस यू नाउ रिमेंबर वन वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग ड्यूरिंग पितृपक्षा यू शूड मेंटेन सेलिबसी एंड यू शूड ट्राई एंड वर्शिप द राइजिंग सन गेट अप अर्ली हैव अ बाथ वर्शिप द राइजिंग सन यू कैन ऑफर वॉटर टू द राइजिंग सन फ्रॉम अ कॉपर वेसल रिमेंबर द सन रिप्रेजेंट्स द यूनिवर्सल फादर एंड वर्शिपिंग द सन रेग्युलरली ऑफरिंग वॉटर टू द सन फ्रॉम अ कॉपर वेसल विल रिड्यूस द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ पितृदोषा एंड इट विल ऑल्सो appease your ancestors and help them move to the higher realms so sun worship is very important and you should inculcate sun worship as a part of your daily activity do the sun worship early morning at the time of sunrise after having a bath you can chant the normal gayatri mantra looking at the rising sun one not eight times or you can also chant the pitru gayatri mantra which is as follows om pitra ganaya vidmahe jagat dharinye dhimahi tanno pitro prachodayat there are also simple mantras such as om pitrubhyo namaha which you can chant one not eight times looking at the rising sun after having a bath and this also gives great relief to the pitras now lord ram is said to be born in the surya vansh and therefore worshiping lord ram reduces the effect of pitru dosh in the horoscope so simply chanting om shri ramaya namaha one not eight times daily morning after the bath will also give great relief to the pitras now let me tell you the story of pitru paksh so karna was a great warrior in the mahabharat war but he fought on the side of the kauravas and in the battle he was killed by arjun now once karna died he reached the heavens karna was a great person a great personality who believed in doing a lot of dan or donations he would give away lot of gold silver ornaments to people who would come to him seeking for help but when he died and reached heaven karna was feeling very hungry and thirsty and god indra offered him a lot of jewels a lot of gold and a lot of silver in a plate karna said what is the use of all this i cannot eat this give me food and water indra said in your lifetime you have only given away gold silver and money to the poor you have not given any one food and water so your ancestors are also not very happy with you karna said since my mother abandoned me at the time of my birth i don't really know who are my ancestors indra then told him go down to the earth for a 15 day period and do the rituals to appease your ancestors to the food donations in the name of your ancestors karna did this and soon he was freed from the effect of pitrudosh so this is the significance of pitrupaksha it is a 15 day period when the god of death allows our ancestors to visit this earth and accept the offerings that we do on their behalf
to the poor needy and to the animals so this is a time when we should venerate our ancestors we should remember our ancestors and do food donations and rituals in their names so that they get the necessary ascension and movement to the higher realms and they don't get stuck between the earth and the heavens so pitru paksha is definitely a period when you should do donations in the name of your ancestors feed the hungry and poor people as well as feed animals such as cows and birds such as crows if you cannot do the complex rituals simply worship the rising sun and offer water to the rising sun or you can also worship lord ram during this 15 day period and that will give the necessary ascension to your dead ancestors and you will receive their blessings for sure now one more thing to remember is that because this is the period of ancestors no auspicious activities are performed during this time such as getting into a marriage a housewarming ceremony getting into a new job or any other such auspicious activity because this period is for respecting our dead ancestors and not for our enjoyment so that is one thing you need to remember so friends this is the significance of pitru paksha we have understood what is pitru dosha also and we have also seen how we can make our ancestors move to the higher realms by doing donations and offerings in their name during the pitru paksha now if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button for any consultations please email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you to know more about us visit our website astrosevaworld.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe